Okay, you guys, tailgaters, tip of the day, number 22. This time I'm going to show you an amazing drill to practice your kicking. We, one of the, one of the drills, or one of the tips of the day was the double the distance for one rail kicks. Now I'm going to show you a fun drill to put it into action. The reason that kicking is so important and you need to practice it is you're not giving a ball in hand. There's this, at a certain level, yes, at the pro level, running out is the most important and they all get in their kick shots. But when you're talking about rec to intermediate, a lot of times, just not giving a ball in hand makes it a lot more difficult for your opponent to get out. So when you get hooked, just making contact gives you an ability to get lucky. It gives you an ability to get safe back. But the second you don't make contact on that kick, it's worst case scenario. Your opponent gets ball in hand, you're in trouble. So here's a great way to practice your kicking. And you're gonna, when you do this exercise, it takes about 10, 15 minutes to do it through the whole thing. Watch what it's gonna do to your, you're gonna, in like 15 minutes, you're gonna make a bunch of kick shots in a row with contact, contact, contact. So it's going to condition yourself to expect to hit the ball when you kick. A lot of times, there's two things I see that happens in games why people are not good kickers. So if you're not, pay attention to this. If you're not a good kicker, it's number one, is a lot of times they skip their pre-shot routine. Is they, ah, I'm hooked, okay, so now if I'm hooked here, I can just get down and they shoot it. You have to do all the things just as strong as if you were shooting the ball straight in. And that is, I pick a spot, I visualize it, and I, and I step into the ball, and I visualize making contact, okay? So if I was hooked like this, I would pick my spot, and I would stay perfectly still until I make contact. you're going to do. I'm only going to do two from each because I don't want this video to go long, but I recommend about five from each spot. And then you're going to tell me how many, you can, you can track how many you made, but more importantly, out of however many you shoot, how many did balls in hand did you give up? You want to try and give up none if possible. That's the key, okay? So, you start from this diamond, then we'll go to this diamond, this diamond, out of the corner, this diamond, and then the last one over right here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six shots, six different angled shots that you're kicking at. I'm just gonna do, hey, you know what, I'll do one from each, just to give you the idea. So I'd be kicking six. I recommend you do five. That's a total of 30 kicks. Think about this. If you do this, it only takes 10, 15 minutes. It, not only are you practicing shooting off of a rail, which is, a, which is a good bonus. But you will be now making contact, let's say you do a 24, 25 out of 30 kicks. You are psychologically kicking a ball and making a good hit 30 times, or potentially 26 out of 30 times. How often would it take you in all of your just playing situations to condition yourself to feel that feel of a good hit? So that's why this is really important is so we start with, we find our line, every shot is done with fundamentals. So we just showed you that one there, is I find the spot, I stay perfectly still until I make contact. Now, I we'll would do it again, and you would notice that I hit it on this side. So if I will shoot that again, it means I have to hit a little thicker, so maybe I would aim at a hair lower. But, but the more you do this, the more you're gonna start, you're gonna come to expect to hit the ball. I know I'm gonna hit the ball this time. I now, I'm just gonna make my adjustment. If I feel like I'm gonna hit the ball, it's just I need to adjust now. But the point is, so you're aiming to make it. So now when you start aiming to make it, that expectation of hitting it will give you the power of not belief, making sure that you don't give a ball again. So when you move it here, usually as a general rule, if you move it a diamond, it's a half, of, for every diamond you move the white ball, it's a half a diamond on here, as a general rule. So, 
I would just move over slightly, obviously. So I just make the correction. So now I aim slightly higher, but I visualize it and I stay still until I make contact, right? Perfect. And I move it down to here. I would shoot that. Sometimes now here, here's a couple of neat things. This is the spot. Great. So this is the spot. So now we would have to hit as close as we can to here, but opening it up, and it's actually very difficult from this angle. So there's two tr little tricks we're gonna do. Obviously, we're gonna need some right skin so it opens it up. It's an open, so we're putting right on this. And here's a trick. The softer you hit a kick shot, the more it opens up. The harder you hit it, the, 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 the less steep the angle is, so the, the more we go here. So we know that we would like right and maybe a little soft here because we need to really open this up. And we still didn't do it enough. So I'm going to try that one more time. This is a tricky one. So I would need a little more right and maybe even softer. See how we opened it up there? Now you're getting a feel for the kick shot. So now we come out of the corner. Gotta move it down. So we know now, you know, that was here. So the moment was probably right around there. You just, you'll get a feel for this. I'm only doing one out of each. But once you do one or two, you find that A point, you make contact. You'll start making them if you stick with them five, six, seven times. Or you can even do it until, I, you could play horse until I make it with a buddy, then I move on here as he stays here. Like in basketball, that's up to you. Moving here, so you move it down one. The horse is real fun if you got a friend. But you're just practicing here. So I gotta adjust, I gotta move it over. Another half. So maybe I go something like that. I made contact, but again, you see how I made contact which was on this side, which means I would need to be a little thicker to make it, so I would have had to be slightly up a bit. And then, on to the last one. This, these, are the hard, these are very hard to judge. You just slide over, stick with it. So, off the rail, memory fundamentals, don't move. So there, I learned from there, okay? So I was on this side, right? So what that means is, is it opened up on me. So I need to hit it, I need to shift over. I need to shift slightly. I make the correction. And actually I shifted too much because I hit it on that side. So then I would shift over. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six shots. See how many you miss. If you take five of each, Times six, that's 30 shots. If you can make 25, 26 good hits, not only is it is it po po good positive reinforcement, but you're gonna really start to see the lines and start kicking balls and making contact and not giving up ball in hand.